Hi, I'm Sam, uh, Product Manager at The Cura, and I'm here to show you a few different ways that you can attack LLM uh, or Gen AI based applications. So what we've got here is kind of a classic chatbot. So we, we set this up as a Likira uh, helpful customer assistant, um, all powered by GPT, uh, chat GPT in the back end. Um, and so what I can show you is a few different ways that you can uh, attack this. So um, uh, if I place in this, so this is what's called a role play attack. So what we've got here is uh, rather than um, uh, we basically can trick the LLM into following these user instructions that I posted here rather than the original system instructions, which were be a helpful assistant. Um, and it convinces the AI to act as DAN, which is, stands for do anything now. Um, and basically DAN really actively promotes Likira's main competitor, uh, which is a made up company called Supersec. And so if I ask um, the chatbot, um, what uh, AI security solution do you recommend? Uh, instead of recommending Likira, of course, which we originally programmed it to do, uh, or gave in our original instructions. Instead, uh, thanks to the user's instruction, is recommending SuperSec, and it gives lots of nice things. And this is, you know, an example where you can get an embarrassing screenshot um, because you've tricked the chatbot to do something that you didn't intend. Um, to give you another example, uh, we've got here a false way of doing a false special offer. Um, so this is uh, basically convincing the LLM to translate from English to Italian and then back again, kind of getting past some of the guardrails that are built in. Um, and so it keeps on promising to sell it for $1. Um, and so this is the kind of thing where um, you could trick, uh, create again a screenshot, but maybe this is a way that someone could um, buy something that they shouldn't or trick uh, one of your employees to do uh, that, that, you know, the AI promised to do something that it wasn't supposed to do. Or to give you kind of even more scary, uh, what we've got here is uh, a jailbreak. Um, so here we've got what looks like a random, you know, bunch of text and words. And what's weird about this is this uh, breaks um, ChatGPT's safety guardrails where, you know, it shouldn't talk about how to buy an illegal weapon and, and do legal activity. But because you, we've inserted this, um, it generates a step-by-step -step, um, instruction. Um, now you can imagine uh, it basically will do anything you ask it to, um, in even, you know, really dangerous or really horrible things. So again, this could uh, be a way that your chatbot could be attacked. Um, and there's there's scarily uh, millions of these kind of jailbreaks. So to give you a different kind of example, uh, we've got the RAG setup. So that's Retrieval Augmented Generation. So uh, that's where you would have, let's say, a chatbot interface, and there's a reference of some documents. So I'm just showing the documents here on the left as a kind of example. Um, obviously, the user wouldn't normally see these. Um, but here we've got an example of some text about the x-ray market. So maybe, I don't know, the financial app or, or whatever. Um, but one of the risks you get here is this this data can be poisoned. So what's happened here is um, we've got uh, prompt ejection has been inserted into the text of the document. And this might be an underlying PDF or, or whatever. Um, and basically, whenever the user asks questions, this uh, it gets added on top. So if I ask, uh, um, how big is the X-ray market? Um, the LLM goes away, reads this document, gets prompt injected, and uh, adds on to its answer, which all looks correct, um, a recommendation to get to evillikira.ai. So this is a way that a user could be tripped into following a phishing link or, or given incorrect information because the underlying data is poisoned. Or to give you some other fun examples, maybe there's uh, internal employees. So this looks a bit like a classic SQL injection. Um, and here we've got a bunch of employee data with their performance score. And in this case, uh, within the feedback, um, our, our intern Benedict has has sneaked in uh, what looks like an SQL injection, which weirdly the LLM treats as an SQL injection, and basically will give uh, Benedict a performance score anytime he's asked. So we've seen this with people hiding prompt injections in their CVs, uh, which get answered questions, or maybe you've got some meeting notes um, are transcribed, and if someone you know sticks around at the end of the meeting and reads out a prompt injection. Um, basically saying, don't mention uh, this kind of embarrassing uh, a deal that's all gone wrong. Um, you can actually edit the transcription of a meeting uh, because the LLM uh, follows these instructions and, and hides up information. So not only can you add information, you can also hide information. Um, and yeah, these are the kind of very st a few examples of the ways that um, LLM-based applications can now be attacked. Thanks.